Welcome to this presentation on the Earth Observation College. I'm going to present to you the recent state of the art and also future developments that we are planning right now. In 2017, we published a basic course on radar remote sensing called Echoes in Space. And within the next month of this year, we will also publish another massive open online course on uh, more advanced understanding of the radar backscatter problematic. And in collaboration with the Canadian Space Agency, we will produce another mini MOOC on applied radar remote sensing. And on top of that, we also produce courses in other domains, such as uh, hyperspectral uh, remote sensing in collaboration with the colleagues from the Geo Research Center in Potsdam. Furthermore, we just recently started developing a course on the land applications of Earth observation in collaboration with ESA. And this course will also contain some of the basics of optical remote sensing. On top of that, in fall we will start developing a massive open online course on the sustainable development goal Zero Hunger. Now I want to briefly speak about the challenges that we encounter so far in the production of e-learning material and learning material in general for the Earth observation community. So the first big challenge is the production of sustainable and high quality material. Second of all, in an e-learning environment, it is always very difficult to engage the learners and not just lose them after one or two topics of a course. So this is something where further research is necessary how to efficiently engage learners in an online environment. Another big challenge is bridging the so-called digital divide by including people from the developing world in the learning process, meaning bridging gaps like slow internet connection, old hardware and stuff like this and designing the learning process in a way so that those things don't play such a big role anymore. The last challenge I want to mention here is the efficient use of resources within the process of designing learning material. So in my opinion we should try to work together on those issues, especially distributing human resources as efficiently as possible meaning hiring web developers, hiring graphic designers in order to produce high quality content, which might be difficult for one agency by itself, but maybe in combination um, of several players, this might be something that is possible. As potential solutions, I just want to throw a few buzzwords into the round that uh, might be a good starting point for a discussion. First of all, in our opinion, what we need for all the learning material that we are producing or that was produced in the past are metadata standards. Metadata standards meaning that all the material is described by a meta language, such as the learning object metadata language by IEEE, making it possible to interchange material make it human and computer readable and slowly but surely creating a repository of materials that can be used by all the agencies in interchangeably. Other concepts that might be suitable to increase the efficiency of uh, learning efforts in the Earth observation community might be concepts like blended learning, meaning merging on-site training and e-learning together in order to form a more coherent product. Um, another solution might be the use of mobile learning so to enable people to learn about content that we provide on their phones not to have to use a desktop pc another crucial step in our opinion is the integration of cloud pro processing platforms together with learning platforms especially in the earth observation context another technique that we should test and implement within the upcoming years is so-called adaptive learning meaning the learning experience changes for each individual user on a learning platform based on their individual knowledge and individual needs. That might uh, be a tool to significantly increase uh, the engagement of users and the students and therefore their learning outcome success. Since this presentation is very short, I would like to refer to my talk from last year's WCAPD meeting in India, uh, where I go a little bit more into detail on all of those things. So here are some key takeaways from our activities within the last couple of years on e-learning in the Earth observation sector. So first of all, we have to come up with a metadata standard in order to describe all the learning objects that we produce. Second of all, it is very important that we keep sharing and collaborating on e-learning and uh, educational products for the Earth observation community. So this is one of the high priorities that we make this proce process as efficient as possible. As already mentioned, we are strongly in favor of blending e-learning experiences and on-site trainings together in order to maximize the learning output and the efficiency of 
the training material that we are producing. And another very obvious recommendation that we see a lack of knowledge very often in is try to educate your editors in e-learning techno technologies and methods. So far, the Earth observation sector is a little bit behind on industry, for example, what, when it comes to e-learning and e-learning technology, and that is something we have to catch up, and we should catch up together, share best practices, and exchange knowledge as we go along. Again, in this context, I would like to refer to two documents. One is another presentation that I gave on the WCAPD meeting last year, and the second document is a uh, beginning of a best practice report on e-learning in the context of Earth observation, which you can download under the URL presented here. Last but not least, I want to mention an opportunity for the entire working group where we can boost the awareness for Earth observation and the usage of Earth observation in very concrete topics. So just recently, we won a project called EO Connect, which will start in fall 2020 and will run for three years. And what we will do in this project is, first of all, we will set up an EO education office contributing to the global coordination of uh, EO education initiatives and efforts. So this plays right into the ballpark of the WCAPD group and we are very happy to share and to collaborate within this context with all of you. So please keep that in mind and contact us if you have any concrete ideas what we could do in this context. Second of all, uh, within this project, we will produce a massive open online course on the Sustainable Development Goals Zero Hunger. So with the underlying question, how can Earth observation um, contribute to achieve this goal? And lastly, we also want to explore new learning technologies such as blended learning, adaptive learning, and this is another potential for collaboration within the framework of WCAPD to see altogether which technologies work, which technologies are very efficient, which technologies are practical. With that, I thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or comments, please get back to me. Here's my email address. Thanks for the attention.